Okay, let's talk about that try one more. So first question, how many parts do we need to have in our representation for this problem and why? Go ahead and say it out loud. Yes, we need two parts in our representation, don't we? So our big question here, right, is how much more money does Sulin need in order to buy this book that she's trying to buy? But in order to figure that out, we have to know how much money Sulin actually has um, in her wallet. And so that's the little question here that we have to answer first. And we know from yesterday that we can use a place value chart to help us determine the value of coins and bills. So I've done this already and we find there's $3.54 in her wallet. Okay, so now we're ready to set up um, and solve the, the big question. So I've got two different possible ways to solve here. We got student A and student B. And my question is, which one is correct? Go ahead and explain your thinking out loud. Yeah, they both work, don't they? They're both right. Why do both of these strategies work? Say it out loud. Yeah, both strategies allow us to find the difference between the cost of the book and the amount that she has in her wallet right now. On the number line, right, we start the amount that she has and we count up to find the difference between the amount that she has and the amount that the book costs. Um, with subtraction, we just use the standard algorithm. This is the amount that the book costs. We subtract the amount that she already has and that tells us the amount that she needs. So I'm curious, as you're working today, why might you wanna choose one or the other of these strategies? Go ahead and explain your thinking out loud. Yeah, there are a lot of reasons why you might make this choice. You know, think back to the problem of the day. In that problem of the day, if we were gonna subtract 40, right, and take away $24.35, we would have had to set up 40 and then a decimal point and two zeros. That would have given us three zeros to try to subtract across using the standard algorithm. That's pretty tough. Um, we also saw that with the number line, we could count here by coin amounts, and that tells us the actual coins and bills that we would need to give if we were needed to know that to make the change. So as you're working today, you gotta think about the numbers, think about what you're being asked, and then make a decision about which strategy is gonna make the most sense to you.